Hello, it's day five of the video blogging challenge and Simon Jordan has set us a challenge today to talk about a challenge, something that we've had to overcome in order to be where we are today, particularly in our business world. So mine goes back to two years ago when I was in, very, very luckily, I was in the semi-finals for a business award and it was the Venus Women Awards for Southampton and I was in the semi-finals for the Green Business of the Year. I was over the moon. I was so, so happy. And my, my barrier, my block, was self-esteem, confidence, um, being out there and putting myself in front of people. So I actually thought, oh my God, what if I end up in the finals? I can't be in the finals, I can't be in the finals, what if I'm in the finals, I can't do it, I can't do it, what if I've got to make a speech, what if I've got to go on stage. I had real issues with that, real, real problems, and I had very low self-esteem, I thought I was fat, I thought I was ugly. Um, as it happens, at that stage I was working with business coaches, I hired some business coaches to help me with my business for about a year, and I asked them for help with this because I really didn't want to be in the finals. I was absolutely terrified. So I asked them to help me and they did a lot of work with me on um, body image, confidence, how you stand, how you dress, what you think of yourself. I did a lot of work around that. Also they, they did some filming with me and I had to stand in front of a camera which was like, oh my god, this is so scary. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anyway, I did it. I overcome it. I didn't get in the finals, but I was really happy to have been in the semi-finals. That was um, last year. This year, I made it to semi-finals again. Oh, I was so happy to be in the semi-finals again for the same award. I was over the moon. But then I ended up in the finals. Oh, I was absolutely... Well, I wasn't worried about being on the stage. I wasn't worried about speeches. I I'd done a lot of work with my... Um, self-image and things like that. So when the awards came round in June, I was so excited. I bought a really long evening gown. I've never worn an evening gown before. I went to the De Vere Grand Harbour Hotel for a sit-down three-course meal and the awards ceremony. I took my partner and my son and my daughter and it was amazing. I was one of five finalists at the awards and I didn't expect um, to win at all. I was just so happy to be part of that ceremony and just to be part of it. But then when my name was called out as the winner, I'm getting a bit emotional now, um, it was just such an amazing feeling to be recognised for the work that I've done for feminine wear. Here is my, I'm so proud of this, you can tell can't you, this is my certificate. Uh, Teresa Francis, Green Business of the Year for 2012, 2013, and this is my award. A very, very proud moment, and I stood on that stage and gave a speech to hundreds of people saying how proud I was. I was over the moon. So, my message to anyone watching this, and I'm going to compose myself now and be big strong, is if you've got a problem and a challenge, something you need to overcome in your business to progress and to get further forward than you are now. Ask for help. Don't sit there going, oh my God, I can't be in the finals, I can't do that. Because it won't happen. If you will it not to happen, it won't happen. A year later, I was ready to be in the finals and I told myself, yes, bring on the finals, I'm ready. And I went to that award ceremony, not expecting to win because the other four finalists were equally as good as me and each one of us deserved to win but to be up on that stage saying yeah I did this I did this I am so proud of myself that my message to anyone who has a challenge something they're really worried about something that they're frightened of scared of don't see it as I can't do this see it as I need to overcome this how can I overcome it ask for help if you can't overcome it yourself get someone to help you I had help and I won Green Business of the Year for Southampton, something I'm very, very proud of. 
Um, there's also some, something else in the pipeline. There might be another award pending, but anyway, that's that's further down the line. So yeah, bring it on. Bring on all the stage, the talks, the videos. Bring it all on. I'm ready now. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed my um, video blogging challenge for today. Um, I'm going to put the hashtag at the bottom, video blogging challenge, and it, it will be on the video blogging challenge Facebook page set up by Simon Jordan. If you're watching this for the first time, you don't know what video blogging challenge is all about, then go and find the Facebook page and join in. Just do a video. Look at what Simon's done, the challenge that's been set for the day, and then film a video and post it on the video challenge video blogging challenge page and he will share it. So yeah, this is great fun. I'm really enjoying this, Simon. Thanks so much for setting this up. And sorry if this is long and rambly. Okay, see you later.